Colombia. I'm working with the um, Organization for American States here in the United States uh, in the developing of a beautiful project that is named MUNET, that stands in Spanish, Municipios Eficientes y Transparentes, Transparent and Efficient Municipalities. Uh, I will be presenting the general issues about the project. I will be very quickly in this process because are commonplaces, because everybody here are speaking about the same thing. Uh, the beautiful part of this presentation will be presented by Jorge Lopez Bachiller, that is a person from Spain that is living in Guatemala in a little town in the middle of the jungle near the north border of the Guatemala country with Mexico. And he will be presenting the results that we obtained with the application of the project. Um, in this moment, this project starts from OWAS sponsorship, but now this project is sponsored in uh, Guatemala, in Patsun, in this little town, by the IRI, that is an institution from here, from the government of the uh, United States. Let me start explaining or remembering why it's important to use ICT on government. Everybody here knows that ICT changed the relationship between the, so the citizens and the government. And also, uh, everybody knows that uh, the municipalities is the first point of contact between the community and the government. And in this type of institution, the municipalities, we have a lot of problems. Part of this problem is the lack of transparency and also the low efficiency on the process that are developed by this type of institution. Uh, as for this reason, um, OWAS, the Organization of American States, creates, designed this project in order to uh, create at the top of the mind of the mayors and the decision makers that ICT is a good tool in order to improve the efficiency and the transparency in their institutions. In order to, to, to obtain this uh, objective, we implement four different steps this uh, project with four different spaces. In the first one, they get to create a task force inside the municipality with the people inside the institutions. In the second step, the idea was that this task force participate in a virtual course about the basics of technology, about the basics of uh, electronic government. Because in the third step, the idea was to create, to implement, to create, sorry, an um, electronic government strategy, obviously with the support of a group of consultants that was experts on these uh, issues. And in the last part of the project, in the fourth step, the idea was to implement this uh, strategy inside the municipality, um, using, if necessary, uh, technological tools that was provided by the OVAS, Organization of American States, that includes four different elements. The first one is MuniPortal. MuniPortal serves uh, in order to create websites. It's very easy to do it. Uh, the second one was uh, MuniCompra, in order to systematize the public uh, bids. Uh, the third one was MuniService. MuniService is uh, used in order to deliver um, electronic services to the citizenship. And finally, Muni Participa, in order to improve the electronic participation of the community in the process of making decisions inside the municipality. Uh, in the first step, that was from 2007 up to 2008, we participate or we take, uh, we, we work in 22 different municipalities in 11 different countries. You can see the different positions in the map, and also you can review the paper with all the specific information uh, that we work on the first phase. Now we are in a um, second phase. In this step, we are working in only four countries because in this step, one of the most important elements is the active participation of the institution in charge of the definition of the electronic policies in the countries. Then we are working in Panama, Paraguay, Guatemala, and Costa Rica with more or less 100 of municipalities impacted by the project. Uh, as I say, this part was very quickly because everybody is speaking about this. Now the idea is to look at the beautiful part of the project, the results. And Jorge Lopez then will be making this part of the presentation.